Today we'll be starting one of the most important topic, SAP MM and FI integration. So the topics that we're going to cover, they are what is account determination, factors influencing automatic account determination, value string, transaction or event key, account grouping code, valuation class and valuation grouping. So we'll start with the business example. You wish to gain an overview of the automatic account determination process in SAP MM. Okay, what that is. So whenever we create a, a goods shipped document or goods issue document or whether we create a invoice received, then system will automatically create an accounting do document. So we need to see how the interface works, what are the factors behind it, and how we can customize our own determination or um, finding the right correct general ledger account. So first we'll start with what is automatic account determination process. So as I just said, we have seen previously that whenever you, you create any um, goods posting for it can be goods received, goods transfer, things like that. When you use the uh, my go transaction or even, even when you use a Miro transaction, which is for invoice receipt, system will be doing the posting to the uh, relevant account, uh, general ledger accounts. Okay, so for example, if I show you practically here, so here I have open, already opened a purchase order. So that's a purchase order here. And you can see the history of the purchase order. So that's the material document created. If I click on this material document, okay, so it was done via my go transaction as a good ship for the purchase order. And here, if you go to the, this document info tab and go to FI document, I can click on that. So you can see here, double click on document, accounting document. Here you can see system posted to the relevant GL account. Okay, so how does the system find it? What are the factors behind it? So that's what we're going to see here. And also, that's the goods receipt. If I show the other scenario, if you look at the invoice receipt here, if I click on the invoice receipt document, here also, if you click on the follow on document on the top and double click on the accounting document, you can see system has posted to the relevant accounts, GL accounts, okay. So this is what we're going to see. How does the system determine the right GL account for different transactions, different movement types and all that. So let us start. So first we'll see that where is account, automatic account determination used? Okay, in what processes do we use it? So here you can see it is used in all these different activities. So when, whenever you do a goods ship, whenever you do a goods issue, whenever you posting the invoices, whenever you change the price in the document, or this is when you create a debit or credit memo, or this account maintenance. So in all these activities, system will be posting it to the relevant GL account. So these are the most commonly used transaction where the GL account determination will take place for the from the finance point of view. So that's where the integration happens within SAP MM and SAP FICO, which is the finance side of SAP. So how does the system determine the GL account? Okay, so now again, when I'm saying MMFI, so if you might already know what is FI, so FI is uh, the financial side of financial module of um, SAP. Uh, it's also known as FICO, FICO, or FI, same thing. So here we see that how does the system determine GL account? Okay, how does the system find whether you're doing the MIGO goods is issue goods receipt or whether you're doing the invoice receipt? How does the system determine the GL account? So system has five key points. Okay, there are five key factors 
that will influence the determination of the GL account. Okay, so in other words, mainly it's used it's using a complicated formula. Okay, to find the GL account. If you understand the formula, you will understand the whole concept easily. Okay, if you do not understand the formula, then I would ask you to repeat the video again, watch it again, unless you understand it. Okay, so if you understand the word, how the formula, what the formula is, you will understand it easily. So let's see how the formula works, and we'll do some practicals in the today's class later on. So as I said, system. How does the system determine the GL account? Okay, so as I said, it depends on five different elements. Okay, first is your charts of account, chart of accounts. Second is your valuation grouping code. And then third is your valuation class. Fourth is your transaction event key. And the fifth is the account grouping code. Okay, now it looks complicated, but it's not once you understand the concept or the formula. Now I'm going to tell you one by one of each of these five points where they coming from. And once we understand them, then we'll combine all these five elements to the formula and I'll show you how these five elements will work within a formula. So before we see the formula, let's see all these five points where they're coming from in a transaction. Now, whenever we create, um, say for example, if you're doing a micro transaction, so what are the elements you're going to put or what are the uh, fields that are mandatory you're going to put? For example, you will put your material okay you will also enter your i mean our material is coming from the purchase order that is fine or you will also enter the movement type okay and you will also enter the plant but which is coming from the micro transaction okay so all and also there's a company code that's coming from the uh, purchase order which is company code so all these things will bring all these five elements okay so let's see one by one first of all we'll see charts of account chart of accounts what is chart of accounts so chart of account is basically assigned to a company code okay so we have seen in the previous exercise that what we do is when we have seen the org structure of sap mm we have seen that for a plant so that's a plant here so for a plant, we assign it a company code. Okay, every plant has a assigned company code and that company code has a further chart of uh, chart of accounts. Okay, so if I show you where the chart of accounts is against a company code, let's see where it is. So if I go to the customizing here to find the chart of accounts. Okay, so here if I write down chart of accounts and here here if you do a control f and search for assign company code to chat of account or just a chat it will find it so that's the one double click on that so here if i open that you can see every company code so that's the company code here, 1000 we're using as standard. That is assigned to a chart of account INT. Okay, so these are standard setting you will see in every SAP standard software. And do not change any of the standard setting again, please. So our company code is assigned to INT. Okay, so what chart of account we're using is INT. Okay, then, so here, and also as I, as I said, the company code is further assigned to the plant we already seen in the previous classes so i'm not going to repeat it again so that's your chart of account and then second point is your valuation grouping code okay what is valuation grouping code so valuation grouping code is basically i've, I've talked about this one in the one of the previous topic as well that you can do the valuation of your materials either at the company code level or at the plant level. Okay, so a company from the finance perspective, they can either do the valuation at the company code level, level or the plant level. So we need to define that in the customizing and here is the customizing steps. So if I show you the steps here, uh, the customer.